Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient born in 1993, had a recent buckling type injury of the knee and a little bit of pain anteriorly ever since, and this is an axial view we're going to start with, and we see the kneecap here, and now the patellar apex is right here. We're going to go down and find the trochlea right there, so it's just slightly laterally subluxed, just really minimal. Sometimes if you have a big joint effusion, that'll let it drift out laterally. There's not much fluid here, so I would call this just really mild or minimal lateral patellar subluxation, or there's no patellar tilt. Patellar cartilage looks good, so just a really soft finding, and a little bit of fluid in the anterior knee joint. The retinacula look good. Here's the lateral patellar retinaculum. The medial one is often really attenuated. You don't really see it very well, but um, looks like it is intact. It's not thickened, and there's nothing. Uh, there's no fluid out here. And now we're going to go to the sagittal images. The sagittal images look pretty good here. This is the patella, patellar tendon, and the thing I notice here is the patellar tendon does look a little bit long. And this can be hard to, to know at, gl at a glance if it's too long, but there's a physeal scar. Sometimes I'll use this physeal scar coming across, and if the mid body of the patella is above that, then I'll think maybe it's, uh, uh, maybe it's too high, and that's not super reliable, but that's a, just a quick little thing I've figured out. So on this one, I say, hey, it does look a little bit high. And then after that, you'll measure and find out, is it more than one and a half times the length or the height of the patella? Is the patellar tendon 1.5 times that or more? So let's do that now. So the patella is about three, so we'd expect this to be less than four and a half, because it's 1.5 times three. And so we'll go here, and it is almost five, so it is. Uh, more than one and a half times. So this is mild patella alta and also some minimal lateral patellar subluxation. So if we were off to the sides, things look pretty good, but we're going to put up these sagittal T2 images. And these sagittal T2 images, we see things look very good here. Half is fat pad medially. If we go off laterally, there's a very subtle finding. It would be so easy to blow off if you're not uh, looking for this finding. But if we window it down, there's just some subtle brightness over here, but this is abnormal. They have uh, normal dark fat here, and up here it's just a little bit too bright. So this is really mild edema. We call that fatty impingement, and that can be associated with the subluxation and the patella alta. And so I believe that is their finding. And again, it doesn't show up all that gray here, but it definitely is there. And we're going to put up the axials one more time and just see if that is there in the axial images. Sometimes uh, if I'm worried I'll look on here to see and yeah there it is right there so there's a little bit of brightness in the fat fatty impingement associated with the other findings so that is the cause of their anterior knee pain and thank you very much